I think the reason people don't know that uh, your hormone change can affect your tendons is because they didn't even really realize that estrogen receptors were in the tendons till the 90s. And uh, I was in school, in high school in the 90s, so it wasn't in my science books, which means it's not one of your core belief systems like your mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But might I tell you that men and women have estrogen receptors, alpha and beta, and progesterone receptors in the rotator cuff tendons. Men and women have progesterone and estrogen estrogen receptors, but the way those receptors work in men versus women and women in a early 20s versus postmenopausal is different. How those genes express themselves, excuse me, how those receptors express themselves is wackadoodle, wackadoodle time. But don't worry, I know you know the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So I talk about this at nauseum and tendonitis and collagen in hopes of taking up that space that mitochondria is um, keeping in your brain. Also might I add in that ATP is energy and uh, oxidation is like rusting and creatine helps you with ATP and post-workout recovery. So it basically fights off oxidation so basically creatine is antioxidant and uh if you want to feel less sore as a person in the perimenopause transition and you're working i think creatine is a great way to reduce oxidation